Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy. <laughs> you can crochet it less than an hour. A hat that I have uh, crocheted and I put it on my head and it's so comfortable and soft. So uh, let's get started on how to crochet this lovely hat. It's uh, super soft. And I uh, just want you to see the texture. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using this yarn. But you can grab any sort of yarn like this to crochet this lovely uh, hat. And uh, the needle size crochet hook they're recommending is an 8. I couldn't find my 8, so I'm just going to use my 9 that I have here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a magic loop, or you can chain 4 to start this. And, uh,. No, this match loop is too tiny. <laughs> Can make it bigger like this. Okay, I'm going to show you a trick, a new uh, way to crochet. I don't know if anyone knows how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to chain. So I did a single crochet and I'm just chaining just to go up. And then uh, what I'm going to do is not to yarn over but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a single crochet okay but to pull this usually you pull it at once right but for this one we're not going to pull it at once we're going to pull one and then again we're going to pull it like this for two so it's going to be like a double crochet and then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to repeat this four times just put your finger where the magic loop is. I know it's very uh, nice and soft. Okay, I'm not going to go yarn over just to point that out. So what I'm going, just like a single crochet, but I'm not going to pull it. I'm going to do it again and I'm going to do it at twice. So it gives you this height. So I'm going to do this four times, chain two between not yarn over, not yarn over, pull one, and then pull another one. So we have three, we're going to do our last one, chain two, pull one, and then pull another one. Okay. chain two so I'm gonna crochet pull this the middle so I shut it down and then you will see it's like a star here but try to find here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue crocheting one more chain two okay now what we're going to do is try to find where this is and go between just go on top of it here so the first one we did it on where the two chains are the second one is going to be on top just like this so this is how we're increasing chain two make another one uh, where the chain is chain two and make one on top on top of this here right on top of it so pull it one yarn over pull another one again chain two and we repeat this over and over until it's not curling up it's not 
we want it flat. Did I chain two? I think I forgot to chain two. Yeah, I forgot to chain two. <laughs> chain two. Don't forget to chain. There's always chain and you pull it at two. Chain two. One where the chain is. And we go all the way. See, it's still um, not straight. You just to, you need to use your judgment. And then we pull one, two, chain two. I didn't even put my marker. I should have put my marker where we started. Let me just grab my marker. Here's another way you can see that it's not straight. It's, it's like a comb. So we don't want that. We want it flat. So uh, that's when you know that you need to continue increasing. Okay, so uh, I put my marker where I started. I had a hard time finding it, but I did find it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go on top here again. So one where the two chains are, and then the second one is uh, on top, just like this. And pull it at two, chain two. Oops. Chain two. So this is a... Uh, one, two, this is going, we're starting the third row. And then you will notice that it's getting flat. That means that you're close, so, but we still continue increasing until you get your crown of your head. One, two, two chain. Two chain two chain two chain this hat is perfect in the summer when you're let's say you're swimming or Let's say you're running, you're exercising, and you're sweaty. You just put it on your head, and it will uh, pick up the moisture. <laughs> See, you will notice that it's getting flat. And then you just continue increasing. The increases are when we're doing uh, on the chain. Uh, I'm sorry, the increases are when we're doing on top of this, these are the increases. So later when we stop increasing, we will uh, just crochet it on the chains. So two chain, pull it at two. This yarn uh, is thick. There are thinner yarn, similar to this yarn. You can pick the thinner yarn if you want. I just grab this just for a tutorial purpose. Yeah, and then you will notice see it's getting it's getting flat, like uh, it's not uh, getting curly anymore, like it's not like a comb. That's what I'm trying to say. See, let's finish this row and see. Pull two. Forgot to chain again. Yeah, don't forget to chain. Chain two chains. I think I did one chain. I forgot to do the second one. Two chain. And then pull it. One. Two. Two chain. Go on top. Two chain. Just checking. I think I forgot to do one on the, yeah, do on the chain here, two chain, two chain, and 
and do it on top of the I'm calling it a double it's not a double crochet but you pull it at two chain okay see this is how it looks like so far okay so I'm going to continue increasing chain two Two, chain two on the chain, pull it two, chain two on top. It grows super fast, <laughs> and this is how it looks like so far. Okay, so I'm going to let you crochet this until I put it on your head that you have enough uh, and then I will come back and we'll go from there. I have crocheted a couple of more rows and then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to increase anymore until uh, I, if I feel that I need to increase. I know for these yarns it's really hard to see so just use your judgment when you're crocheting. You will notice that uh, uh, you need to increase. So okay, so I did one, I chain two, I go where the two chains are and I pull at two like this. I chain two and I jump where the two chains is and I repeat it. So this is not increasing. Chain two and then crochet until you notice that you need to increase. But uh, I think when you put it on your head, you're just about, yeah. If I come here, I think I will be done. Let me see, I put it on my head and it looks like I don't need to uh, increase anymore. So I'm just going to go all the way where my marker is, chain two, pull one, and then pull the second. This is a very easy way and super fast way to crochet hats. If you're making, like I'm planning to make, donate these to the homeless. I already made a scarf, so I'm planning to add, just pin them to the scar uh, scarves, so uh, the scarves will have hats. <laughs> okay, so I just jump here, and I'm almost there where I where the beginning is. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it on my head. Or if you have a mannequin head, I don't have it with me. And then uh, you will notice that it's, yeah, mine is ready. So I'm not going to do any more increases. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue crocheting around and around. And uh, chaining two. Then jumping where the two chains are so we're not going to be crocheting on top of what we have crocheted so this way we're not increasing just like this and this is how it looks like it's airy but but the main thing is it's warm 
just protects your head, your hair. Let's say if you have a bad hair day, <laughs> you can just put this on your head and then go out, do your errands. And I, like I said, they have, uh, they can carry thinner yarn. It's like eyelash yarn, if you look at it. Can you see there's a cord between? So they do make these in different weights. Doesn't have to be this. I just grab I just grab this. One, two. Okay, so I'm gonna let you crochet, I don't know, a couple of more rows. I would say at least ten. Well, we'll see. I don't think not even 10 rows. And then you will have the length. And then uh, it will become a hat. So I'm just going to let you crochet. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been crocheting. And this is how it looks like so far. And then I just wanted to show you how it looks. It's very easy. And it goes very fast. I'm sure you can finish it less than a, in an hour. One hat. So I just wanted to share you how to crochet the easiest way hat and super fast and the stitch looks very nice it looks different if you look at it it looks like a pyramid <laughs> it's different so I just wanted to share you this lovely uh, method it's a free way how to crochet um, this lovely hat using um, these uh, yarns and I hope you like this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy crocheting!